let me delete this so let's take out the mass blit and let's see what's going on here so I'm gonna put mast underscore blit it's asking for the source so um that's our player image one where we're drawing it to we're drawing to the buffer and I asked for source X and source Y now before we used to set these to zero but now we're not setting it to zero before the basically the what the source X and source Y is it's basically asking for where on the image should I start drawing from right the X and Y coordinates on the image where I should start drawing from so to make it plain and simple it's saying that um should I start drawing before we used to say we should want to start drawing from the zero zero coordinate and we want to draw the whole thing right now we only want to draw a section so if the source X is set to 32 then it will move 32 spaces to the right on this image and then um, say the Y coordinate is zero so it will stay here and then that's why we would draw this image over here and it will make more sense as I finish conclude through this so our source X is our current frame um, in our X coordinate right and then our source Y is current frame 1 times is going to be times dimension 1 now you're like okay what is all this confusing stuff that I'm doing right now well just take this in right now okay so if our if we're pressing if we're pressing the down arrow key right um with our enum uh where's our enum down is equal set to zero right because it's set to zero by default so it's basically saying that we should um when pressing the down key the source y will be zero times 32 right since i mean 30 times 49 or since that's what the height of the sprite is so what is 0 times 49 0 times 49 is 0 right so say we're drawing the first frame so let me walk you through this so we're drawing the first frame in our I'm a walking down so we want to draw this frame right here okay so uh, maybe I should like split this into two screens to make it easier uh okay so basically it's saying that okay so um the current frame x okay is equal to zero because we want to draw the first frame so x our x coordinate on our image is set to zero and then current frame one since it's set to down is equal to zero so zero times 49 is equal to zero so basically it says to start drawing from zero zero over here that's basically all it's saying it's simple enough if you don't get it then comment below or PM me so then this is the same thing as before um it asks for the destination X and the destination Y I believe and you're basically drawing your position on the screen where you're gonna draw it so that's position and position one now it asks for the width and height so it's basically asking the width and the height how what portion of the width and the height are we taking from the image so dimension zero the width of our sprite is set to 32 and the height of our sprites are set to 49 so it's saying basically saying here I'm gonna start drawing from this point right here it's gonna be 32 spaces wide and it's going to be 49 pixels long and then it basically crops that image it forgets about the rest of the image and it just draws this image alone on the screen and that's basically how the animation works so um and just a little reminder don't forget to destroy the bitmaps here destroy the player image one and destroy the um the buffer so anyways um just another quick run through to review what we've basically um went through today so uh the enum the source enum is basically uh it should be in this order down left right up if you're using this type of sprite sheet um i've already explained why
because in this order it's set for down, left, right, and up. So we're putting it in that order, right? The position, uh, the position is the actual position of the sprite on the screen. The current frame was basically storing where to start drawing on the actual image. So then you can draw the correct frame that you need to draw. The frames right here basically describes how wide, how many frames wide and how many frames long our image is. So we have four frames, four images going to the right, one, two, three, four. So it's four frames wide and there's four frames going vertically, one, two, three, four. Simple enough. The dimensions is basically specifying the width and the height of each um, individual image. So it's 32 by 49 in this bright sheet, right? Uh, the move speed is the speed that at which the player is moving at. The switch frame is um, at what time you want to be able to switch the frames. The counter will basically count until it reaches the switch frame, which will indicate when to switch the actual frames. And bool active is just to um, state whether the spread is active or not. If the spread is not active, then it um, produces a still motion, so it stops the animation. If it is active, then it will continue on with the animation. That's basically it. With our, um, with our commands in our update loop, we set is active to true at first. And then in our else statement, it will say if it's either tr it, it will either keep it true or set it to false. Um, we basically right here we set our uh, position. Um, we've updated our position. That's simple enough. And our current frame, we just set it to which frames we're gonna draw. So if this is set to right, right in reality is set to um, to two. So 49 times 2 is equal to 90, oh, I can't even think right now, it's equal to 96 or 98 or something, yeah 98. So, um, so it's basically saying that the current frame is equal to 2, so when we, when we draw it, when we go to our blip function, it does, um, 40, it does 2 times 49 which is equal to 98. So it'll know that when we go to our draw function, it will scroll down until it reaches 98 pixels right here, and it will start drawing the right animation sequence. That's basically all it's doing. So we're setting the um, we're just setting the animation sequence that we're going to be drawing, and then right here we're just waiting if it's if the spread is active, then we're gonna wait till the frame should be switched, and then we change the frame reset the values and then we check if it's on the last frame if it is on the last frame then we set it back to the we reset it back to the original frame and if the spread is not active then we reset and keep everything default and the blending function is straightforward uh, we draw our we're drawing our player to the buffer where on the image we're just gonna start drawing from where to the screen we're actually gonna draw to and how wide the image actually is um how wide the how wide we're gonna crop how wide the dimensions are we're gonna crop from the image if that makes sense to you and then we're just blading the buffer to the screen same old same old clearing the buffer and destroying our bitmaps and exiting allegro and that's just a run through of doing sprite animations within allegro i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial these few tutorials and um, I hope that you'll be able to get your games up and running and the next series should be on individual sprites and doing those frames so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah comment below like the video and yeah recommend this to your friends and family so thanks for watching and bye